Okay, well here we are at the 18th Annual Cardboard Boat Regatta, and over here at the Concourse to Cardboard, we have stories to tell. We have boats that you won't even believe. I saw Harry Potter, we have a military influence, we have kindergartners, we have grandparents. So, what do you think, Paige? It's gonna be a good day? It's warm, the cold drinks are flowing, there are people everywhere, face painting going on. Let's go check out some boats. And we're off with the first heat here of the 18th Annual Cardboard Boat Regatta. It's Scott Free, Allie Payne, and I've got to welcome Carol Sutterby. She is the Commissioner of Cardboard joining us now to give us some updates as well. This would be Team Yoder with Captain Furman Kendall, and then Gryffindor has Captain Brett Brubaker, who's been involved with the Cardboard Boat Regatta for many, many years. Now over to our Commissioner of Cardboard, Carol Sutterby, who's been involved in this since day one. I understand you have some uh, shipmates on that boat. I do. I have two grandchildren, Kai and Kale. Uh, Kale is Harry Potter, and uh, Kai is a ginger, the Weasley, yeah. Weasley girl. Sorry, I've lost my Harry Potter. Uh, this is Yoder's Pride out of Dundee, New York. And your name? Aaron. Aaron, is this the first time you've done this? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's been a couple years, but I did it uh, first few. And what was the inspiration for your boat? Horse hair and corn hooks. Or, what is that? Cusks. Cusks. Yep. Horse hair and corn husks. Well, maybe that'll do it, you know? These two, of oh. the Team Yoder, oh. these were part of the original folks that came out for the cardboard boat race, the Blues Brothers, and they actually have an app. Oh, and one of the original uh, first years. And Gryffindor on its way around the first turn right now. Unfortunately, Team Yoder did not make it around. I have my son and my daughter, Scott and Maria, and I have my niece and nephew, Kai and Kale. Do you think you're going to need any of that Harry Potter magic to make it through this race? Hopefully. Yeah. Brett's uh, uncle was one of the original boat builders also. That would be Don Brubaker. And uh, Brett has learned a lot on how to make boats over the years. And the Gryffindor passed through the finish line with ease right there. Now, you're going to notice this angle right here. This is our splash cam. This is the Cats of the Caribbean getting in right now. And what's great about this, this year with the regatta, we've got a camera on some of these boats. You'll be able to see both the teams and the action as it happens. Also, as we load up the Cats in the uh, Caribbean, we've got our other boat loading up right now, which is the Clifford Cruiser. And these have very, very young captains. Hannah Howard is the captain of Cats of the Caribbean, and then Kathleen Clifford is the captain of the Clifford Cruiser. Now the cruiser looks to be off to a little bit of a rocky start. They're trying to get their bearings and figuring out which way is straight here. And I think that's the most important thing is you got to get that rhythm down, and sometimes it just takes a minute to get the momentum going. Onto the uh, splash cam here, the Cats of the Caribbean. You can see inside what it's like in these cardboard boats. Now, Carol, look at the design of this boat. You can see the cardboard butt right here, but that, the walls of that barely move in at all. Uh, that was put together by the Humane Society of Schuyler County. And you've also, besides Hannah, you have Haley, Haley, and Emily. Lots of girls on board. Two Haley's. Two Haley's. She didn't stutter. There's two Haley's There's on there. There's two Haley's. Didn't stutter. Yeah, I'm a bit nervous, though. And why are you nervous? I don't like swimming. Well, maybe your boat will make it the whole way. Could you tell us the name of your boat? Uh, it's called Cats of the Caribbean. And how did you come up with that? You guys, Pirates of the Caribbean fans? And yeah, and the, we um uh, got this from um, the Humane Society. We are manning this boat for the Humane Society of Schuyler County. We've been giving out dog biscuits and candy this morning, and the kids are not too excited about getting in here. I don't know if it's because they think they'll sink or they think they won't look good. I don't know. I think it'd be cool. <laughs> the Clifford Cruiser. They're still trying to figure out exactly where to be. I'd be afraid of like the rocking back and forth that my boat would go sideways. The Clifford Cruiser. Where'd you get that name? Our last name's Clifford. Oh, so is this like Clifford the Big Dog? Yeah. And who made your boat? Us. Then I'm on. And uh, it's fantastic. You think you'll make it to the end? We got a lot of duct tape on it. Is this your first year doing this? Yeah, but I did it at school last year. Now you'll notice with all the boats and their slips here, this is a gorgeous day like we had mentioned earlier. Just beautiful temperatures today and lots of folks out to visit with us. The Cats of the Caribbean doing a real strong lead here into the finish line. They've made it. They're going to win this heat for sure. I'm so excited this year we actually have flags on the finish line. 
so they know where to go. We can see what they're going through, yes. Terry Stewart helped put those on, so thank you, Terry. We really appreciate it. It's looking good. And the Clifford Crews are going to make their way through right now. Lots of determination going here. Yeah, that's one word for it. <laughs> well, remember, last year, when we get to Team Duff this year, I had the honor last year of presiding over the ceremony of the wedding on the boat. But he did not do any, any stroking whatsoever. I know. Well, at least not USA Surfer is loading up right now. USA Surfer is launching our next heat here, along with Boat 78, which is? This is Sigma Alpha Kappa Sig Kids, or SAX. Which, by the way, the captain, her last name is Madeline Sachs, S-A-K-S. If you get it, Sigma Alpha Kappa Sig Kids. Get it? Could you repeat that? <laughs> no. Okay, Maddie, so you're the captain of this boat. Can you tell us what the name of this boat is and what your inspiration was? Uh, Sigma Alpha Kappa Sigma. I don't really know what the inspiration was. And who made this boat? Uh, me, my brothers, my mom, and my dad. Wow, and how many of you are going to be sailing in this boat? Uh, three or four. We're not sure if our cousin's coming yet. Now, you'll notice here at the regatta, one of the things we do is try to form up some of the most mismatched teams possible. The Sigma Alpha, uh, they've got at least four people on that boat, and our other boat, well, has one person, the USA Surfer. And what is your name? Luke Morris. Luke Morris, and tell us the name of your boat. USA Surfer. USA Surfer, you think you're going to make it to the finish? Yeah. But he's going strong. He's doing he really well. He's got he's a great design. You'll notice the uh, stickers on the side with the little feet. Those are given to us by the folks of the Junior Diabetes Research Foundation. So they did those stickers for us. And, of course, that is the benefit from the people's choice. So we're really excited to have that. And you can really see the numbers this year. Oh, it's a great cause, too. Sigma Alpha going to cross the finish line right now. And they have won this heat. USA Surfer, though, I don't believe they're too far behind. At least he's pretty close. Now, that's Luke Morris on the USA Surfer, and he built that boat all by himself. Aww. He is eight years old. Well, that's fantastic. He's got to be one of the youngest captains. He really is. It's the youngest, youngest person to build a boat and to captain all on his own. He did a great job. Oh, that's fantastic. Can't wait to see him in about 15 years. Getting ready to launch the Black Pearl. Arr! And <laughs> well, our next boat will be the Chappelle Boys. So we got the Chappelle Boys and the Black Pearl getting ready to launch. You'll notice the Chappelle Boys, quite the design on this. A number of tubes, which should work out well for buoyancy over the years of, of seeing the regatta. Those tubes can be very helpful, and they got a great oh, start, too. Oh, okay. Who made your boat? Um, well, well, like my, us, my dad, and a lot of friends. Do you think it's going to make it the whole way? It should. That's the most unique design I've seen. I've never seen a boat built like that in 18 years. Hellboys really have a great, That's... great head. In fact, uh, there are the great head start there. You'll notice that our other boat really struggling in the Black Pearl to even figure out a way to go straight here. Black Pearl. The Black Pearl. And where'd you get that name? From the Pirate of the Caribbean. Oh, fantastic. Who made your boat? Me and my daddy. Right here. Oh, That's wow. Me. That's your daddy right there? Yes, ma'am. And his boat is the Cornelia Curry. Murray. The deadliest catch. By the way, Black Pearl is Captain Delaney Polachek, and then the Chappelle boys, of course, Adam Chappelle. He's the captain there. And I like how this kid, right there in the middle, he doesn't even have to do a thing. Along for the ride. That would be Scott's job if he were That would be, boat. yes. Yeah. The Black Pearl, they've got it worked out now. Now they're moving pretty good. Boy, that Chappelle boys boat, though, is really a great design. Look how far of a lead they have. Mm -hmm. And I think you'll notice, you can see the shark design on the front. Throughout the day, you're going to see a lot of shark designs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, touring the boats earlier, we got to see quite a few of those. Black Pearl on its way up now. They're in the home stretch. They just... They need to put on a little bit of effort here, and, and they can make it through the finish line in good time still. They haven't got, quite got the coordination down where everyone paddles at the same time. Now, these folks did very well. Yeah, Chappelle boys right through the finish line, and that through. boat really looks strong enough and sturdy enough to make it through another year if they wanted to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can see the Black Pearl is paddling backwards and then forwards, forwards. and backwards and forwards. They are working it. Black Pearl through the finish line now. That's 250 yards of paddling. Can more boats make it? We're going to find out as the 18th annual Cardboard Boat Regatta continues next year on Big Fox.